Welcome back people, we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. I thought we'd do another live stream, trying to get more live streams in there. I know I've been busy putting out a lot of videos, but it's nice when I do a stream, because we can communicate and chat to people that little bit more. Today we're back in Congo River again. I'm going to see if Dad can pull in some of those unique Nile perch today, hopefully he gets one. But yeah, we're back fishing with Dad, he's beside me, he's getting set up, so I'm going to get set up. And I'll bring you guys back in in one second. Just give me a moment just to quickly uh, get my tweets sorted and then I'll be with you guys. All right, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's see, let's see how we do today. <coughs> well, I'm glad that happened now. Let's put the mobile on silent, otherwise we're gonna get tons of notifications. I don't know I don't know what it's like where you guys are at today, but here in the UK. A little bit of sun out, but definitely a chill around in the air, that's for sure. Alright, anyway, let's do this. Let's get down to it. Where's the mouse cursor? That would help, wouldn't it? There you go, perfect. Oh, I gotta put my face cam on as well. Hold on. Where's that gone? Uh, is that one it? No, that's not it. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> we got there eventually. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's see what we can we can do today. I'm hoping that Dad's gonna Dad's gonna get a uh, unique today because last time we did a stream. He didn't, he weren't lucky enough to get one, but there he is, although he's kind of in the menu, I think he's trying to get set up to watch the stream. Oh no, he is there. Oh, it's just a little bit close. Uh, let me move a little bit to the left, just a bit, so that way we can see when he's bringing in fish as well. There we go. I'm getting notifications like crazy. How's it going, Dragon? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I've been better, but <laughs> we're all right. We're doing. We're getting there. How you been, man? You been playing much of fishing yourself? And you know what I've gone and done again? I've still got that hat on from the mission that I did, didn't I? That means I don't have a headlight on me. Oh well, that's that's beautiful, isn't it? Alright, well, I'm going to, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to quickly back out, go and get a, quickly go get the headlight, just because it might be a little bit dark, and yeah, you guys obviously won't like that. Okay, that one is getting banned. Um, there you go, that one's banned. Don't, don't click no links or anything, guys. Some people spam some stuff. And I can't always verify that it's, that it's legit, so. 
All right, let's have a look for a headlight. Good morning to you as well, Joseph. Good to see you, man. Cold and sunny also in the USA. <laughs> Thanks for the videos. Very helpful. I'm glad they help, man. Yeah, it's a bit. It's definitely a bit cold here in the in the UK. A bit chilly, but I prefer it to be cold than hot, personally myself. You can always warm up, but when you're hot, and I, I don't know about you, but when I get hot, I get really stressed. Like I do, yeah, <laughs> I get, I feel stressful. So I definitely prefer when it's, when it's uh, colder than hotter. Still trying to get to level 75 without premium. I respect that grind. Someone sent us an invite or friends request. Let's accept that. Alright. I've got to go back to Dad's room. Where's there's he at? Okay, there you go. We're at the right one. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice in the winter when you when it's quite cold and you got one of those quite thick blankets. And you get into bed, when you first get into bed, it's like, <gasps> oh, it's freezing. But then after a while, when you warm up and you've got that thick blanket over you, that's, that's nice. I like it. i got some good news, though. I, um, I don't know, well, some of you might know, some might not, but I ended up selling my electric bike because uh, I ran into some big money problems. Long story short, I've managed to get the bike back. I don't ask me how, but <laughs> yeah, the per the uh, person I sold it to originally was a friend of mine, and they let me buy it back for the same price as I sold it. But I'm just going to have to owe them some cash. But the good thing is, it means that at some point, I might be able to work. Uh, well, not might be able to. At some point, we will be able to have some videos on the electric bike again. So that's really good. It's bad that I'm in debt, but it's good that I've got that back. It's crazy what a bike can do. Anyway, let's see if Dad can grab some unique today as well. Let's see what he's doing. Has he caught anything yet? He might have caught one whilst we've been gone. On a normal Nile perch. <clears throat> got to run kids to school. Work. Okay, well... Thanks for dropping by, Joseph. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support. Always watching as well. Have a nice day, man. Put on a jacket. You're going to need a jacket. It's definitely cold today. I feel that winter breeze coming in. <laughs> Six people in the stream. Drop a like for this awesome stream. <laughs> as always, Dragon. Always helping me with that promotion. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's completely free to hit that like button. I don't cost nothing. Let's change to... The night time. Slow down a little bit, bubbles. There we go. And now we've got the headlight. Do you know what it don't actually make that oh there you go. Now it now that's a bit better. I was gonna say it don't make much of a difference, but I was waiting for the weather to change slightly. Let me turn that yeah. See I I, I kinda <sighs> I kind of prefer it like that, to be honest. Dad fishes like that with no headlight. Because then you can see which bite alarm is actually beeping. But when it's on like that, it makes it a lot easier to see the rod. Especially for you guys as well. If you're watching in the daytime, like it is for me, it's kind of hard to see always see your screens. I put on some of these uh, small tilapa as well, rather than always the large minnow. Just to see. Apparently Nile perch like that quite a lot, as well as the large minnow. So I have caught on that before, but I don't know if I've ever caught... I don't know if I've ever had unique like that, to be honest. <clears throat> Losing my voice. This is definitely a little... Well, a lot earlier of a stream compared to what I would normally do. But I decided to get on that YouTube grind early, and then later on, I'm gonna I got a YouTube short for Fishing Planet as well for later. So <clears throat> that's why I thought we get set up early. 
Hello, Bubbles and Bubbles Dad. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, man. Good to see you. There we go. That didn't take too long to get a fish on, did it? It never does in this place. Well, it never does in any place as long as you're fishing the right spot. Let's have a look at Dad. Watch Dad bring his fish in. Let's fight him on that last little bit. Looks like he's using different line to my my line. I'm using braid. Maybe he might be using mono. It's always that last little bit sometimes where they try sinking around here. It makes it very hard work. Oh, catfish. Maybe he's fishing daytime. Maybe he's... I don't know. Possible. Unless he's got some large cut bait on and he's fishing at night. One or the other. <clears throat> well, this one's given a good fight to start off with, so I ain't got no complaints. Cool, wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be good to get a unique to start off straight away? I doubt that would happen, though. <laughs> Possibilities of that are not very likely. Although it has happened before. Are you at night with braid? Is your line is your line like a bluey colour? It looked like it was yellow. What is that? Hold on, let's get a bit closer. Yeah, on the reel, the braid looks... Unless you're using different pound line. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I always like to use braid. Because braid stretches. I didn't know that until my dad told me that, if I'm honest. But again, that's the good thing about doing sea fishing as well as carp fishing. Sometimes those little little tips and tricks can help out a little bit. Oh wow, this one's got to be trophy at least, surely. This one's taken a minute. If not trophy, uh, you need to do, uh, do the job to start off with, I don't mind. <clears throat> I'm going to move a little bit. I'm hoping that Trippy drops by. I haven't seen him for a long time. If he doesn't in this stream, I think I'll drop him a message. Normally, he pops into streams. He's one of our moderators. He has been for a long time. He's done a good job as well, to be honest. I can hear the other rods going off. Very quiet, which is good. Then bite alarms drive you a little bit cranky after you play it for hours on end. Alright, let's see. Well, not quite. Not quite trophy. But £164 for the first one. That's not bad. This is on that small tiller pie. Honestly, was thinking that that fish was going to be bigger, a lot bigger than that. That one definitely took a short minute to reel in. I got about a thousand notifications. If I weren't live streaming, I wouldn't get one. The second you're live streaming, notifications come through like crazy. I ended up buying another one of these rods as well, actually, these Mocky rods. I don't know why. I know I definitely had four of them, but... And I think I had one back in storage, so technically that was five. Yeah, one in home storage and always had four on me. But I had to buy another one. I was missing one somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it broke, or maybe I sold it by accident, or... I can't even explain it. See, this one, I think, could be bigger than the last one. The line's got a little bit of bounce into it. 
We'll see. <clears throat> oh wow, he's rank 87 now as well. Rank 87, he's getting close to the 100 mark. I'm waiting on that next update as well. I'm looking forward to the Christmas update, although I haven't had any information about it yet, so I'm not quite sure when that's going to drop, but I'm pretty sure it is going to be it is going to be in the next few weeks, I'm thinking anyway. There's the other one going off. That makes a different sound. I'm hoping as well at some point they change the sound or they let you change the sound of the bite alarms. Or they just give you more options for different bells that make different sounds. And then that way you kind of know what rod it is rather than when you're fishing and you've got the headlight on you can't always see the light properly. I'd like to pick those other rods up, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with this one. <clears throat> this one might not be bad. I really wish that... <laughs> I really wish that that max drag was still a thing. But it's not, unfortunately. It made it so much easier to reel fish in, although it weren't really re realistic that way, but it definitely made my job a, a lot easier, that's for sure. Let's walk towards it. Oh, it's trying to turn. There we go. 157. I definitely feel a nerf. <laughs> I definitely. It's crazy how much these fish fight. Oh, that was nice. That jumped out the water there. <clears throat> I honestly thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that. turned around now but I think yeah kind of maybe maybe not I've noticed as well every time I I thought it's probably just the spot that I'm standing in but every time I cast here every single fish always goes down that way every single time I think it's just where I'm standing Come on, Dad. You can do a unique today. I believe in you. It all depends on how nice the game's going to be. <laughs> we did a short clip as well of um, Dad on mic as well. So if you've never... If you wonder what Dad sounds like, or you... Oh, wow. That line's bouncing all over the place. That could be promising. This is the bounce that I'm looking for. That bounce motion there, like that, that tells me that it's unique. It tells me that it's a big fish. Yeah, we uh, did a little short, I don't know, I think it was about a 20-minute video of me and Dad. We was chatting on mic, talking about the game and doing a bit of... I uh, give Dad the controller. He come to mine, and we just let him do a bit of fishing whilst we had a, both had a bit of a chat on the mic. So if you want to check that video out, you guys can. I just mention it just because, just in case none of you saw it. I put out so many videos each day recently that the notifications are just not, not quite getting pushed out enough. I'm overloading it. Now this one I will seriously be shocked if it's not, 
if it's not a trophy minimum. It's got to be unique, this one. Just the way the rod's acting. The way the line is. And it's definitely taken a short minute to reel it in as well. bouncing motion there where the line just goes a bit cranky this is going to be a big fish I'm sure that's with the large minnows as well they always large minnows don't fail them and shiners Oof. The shiners are probably the, the better way to go, because they're cheaper, but at this point, cash is not too much of a concern. I've still got to get to max level on mobile as well. I still haven't quite got there yet. And that's because I don't have premium on there. When you don't have premium, oh, especially if you're on that, on that XP grind, Without premium, it is definitely hard work. I don't really like fishing without premium. You know, even whether I'm playing on Steam or PS4, PS5, or even on mobile. If I don't have premium, I don't really like to do it. Especially if I'm after cash or XP. Right, this could be a good size. Oh. I told you, there's definitely got to be minimum trophy. Unfortunately, not not unique, but there's some pretty good cash though. 37,000 cash, just over 23,000 XP. Oof. That's not bad. The only thing we got to do now is reset all these rods back though. I'll put them two up, and then we'll have to reset the other ones. Now, some people like to do this on the boat more than anything else. Which, the boat is good, but you can't have more than one rod out. And it's a lot more time-consuming when you got five lines out there. You can catch them that little bit quicker. Even Dad does the same now. Look at that. He only ever used to fish with two rods. I've turned him into a proper gamer. <laughs> it's more fun though. Although you only do need the, the one rod really, but I just like to have as many as possible. The more lines in the water, the quicker you're going to catch that fish, or at least that's the kind of the way I look at it. I don't think that's a very big fish on there, so I'm going to pick up this rod instead. Have a look at this one. I don't really see a lot of, too much of a difference, to be honest, <laughs> between this one and the other one. <clears throat> oh no, there you go, now it's running. It out there on the surface. Oh wow, they're all going crazy. Alright, let me have a look at another rod. There you go, nice. That's what we want. And then that one a timeout as well. No. Nope. Yeah, I don't really see a lot of difference. I always try and look for the line bouncing. That's the rod that I would always choose. Or one to rip out a ton of line. <clears throat> oh, 
why I'm getting spammed with notifications. This is definitely a small one. It, it came in way too easy. Get away from those bite alarms for a minute as well. Oh well, that one turned its head there. I thought that was going to run off like crazy then. 88 pounds. <clears throat> I knew it weren't going to be that much of a big fish to be honest. But it's still a fish, we're still earning money, that's the main thing. £172 he pulled in there. Look at the size of it. That's crazy. It's funny when you see the 400 pound ones and you see people hold up the 400 pound fish in one hand. <laughs> They've been going to the gym a lot. <laughs> it's again, Sonia. Welcome to the stream. 87 pound. I'm very surprised that stayed on there that long. I honestly thought when I was going to pick it up there, it was going to time out. Sometimes they do hang on for dear life, those fish. Not all the time. Most of the time when you pick up the rod, it'll say timed out. But some of them occasionally do hold on for dear life. They don't, they don't want to let go of that bait. <laughs> I don't think this is a very big fish either, this one. I'm guessing around around 80-ish pound as well. Yep, 87. I might as well, though, jump to the next day because we got 8.48 in the net. So I jump to the next day. I could fit one or two more in there, but when I get close to that thousand mark, I don't normally bother. Just because the one time it was it was a while ago, but one time I did have uh, my net almost full. Ended up catching a unique, and I ended up releasing it because I couldn't fit it into the net. But then. A little time after that, I realised you can actually remove other fish to keep that fish. But I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> 95,000 cash there for that one day. And that's not bad. I could have definitely fit more in the net. Well, normally, though, it averages between about 100 to... I guess top end about a hundred thousand to a hundred and fifty thousand if I fill the net up in one day That's serious money That's exactly why dad's probably got tons of money on his account because of that these now perch give really good cash So do the tiger fish as well actually On mobile, I'm I'm in. I'm still in Maron River on mobile at the minute. Ain't long got to that place. I do like fishing for the, either the Nile perch or catching catfish. They both give insanely good fights. I don't mind catching either one.
there is so many notifications. <clears throat> there we go. Just cleared them all. I'm surprised Sank didn't didn't go off then. The chat thing's gone. There you go. Oh, you had young Nile Perch. There we go. 9.07, so it took like seven minutes in game time. That's not bad. I hope you go get number one for Arapaima on Xbox. I think I you actually left a comment. I think you you could be the person. Yeah, I remember. I saw a comment saying that um, you managed to get number one on the leaderboard. I did respond to that comment. I'm sure I did. But that's good though. If you're getting up on those leaderboards, it shows uh, shows what I'm showing has clearly helped you. So that's good. Oh wow, a £45 Nile perch. I didn't even know they go to that small. £45. Wow. That's definitely the smallest Nile perch I think that I've, I've ever had. This one's reeling in quite easy as well. Uh, it was you. Well, congratulations. I'm glad that... Um, my tips have helped you out and managed to get on those leaderboards. It's quite a nice feeling to to get on there and see your name on there. Personally, myself, I'm not really that competitive on the game. Like, I, I don't really, I don't do competitions and stuff like that. I just play the game, have fun, find hot spots and ways to catch fish fast and big fish and small fish or certain fish. And then I share it with you guys, and if it if it works for me, I always share it with you guys. Because if it works for me, it's going to work for you. And that's a good thing. Because hotspots, whether you're on PC or console, or even mobile, all the hotspots that I show, they always work in, in every platform. So, yeah, it definitely makes it easier. Because if they were in different spots on different platforms, whew, I'd have my I'd have my job cut out of time. <laughs> it would definitely take a short minute. I'm not too sure on this one. Kind of seems like it's got a bit of a fight, but then. Now it's running. <coughs> You're still trying to get into Conga. What what level are you now then? Yeah, I gotta let's see I'm max level on PC, I'm max level on console, I gotta I gotta get to max level one mobile so I definitely gotta get on that on that grind but I'm not getting on it all the time I can't get premium yet when I get premium I'll be back on that level 70 yeah we're going for Arapaima or Shark either one of those are not a bad thing to to go for at level 70 Those Arapaima, you can catch them at a pretty fast pace as well, to be honest. Now, that's normally what happens. I'll, I'll definitely, once I get to level 68, I'll definitely be uh, getting some Arapaima myself on mobile. That's for sure. I've brought premium for, for mobile, but I haven't brought any DLC on there. Now, I always will on PC because obviously to show those new maps and new updates and stuff but on the mobile yeah I don't ever plan to I don't ever plan to get any DLC for mobile only premium 
I think I'm level 60, about 64 and a half on mobile. But I will get back on that grind on mobile when I get the premium on there. It don't take long to level up when you're catching catfish. They give some good XP. Oh, this one's running. Uh, it's not had a unique yet. I'll just keep checking that every now and again, just so that way I don't miss it. Oh, this one's ripping line. 270 foot. Let's move away from that a little bit. Just so it's not as loud, because all of the, all of them are going to end up going off. There you go. When you got one one fish on the rod, all of the rest just go crazy. <laughs> That's normally how it is. <clears throat> I think this one could be a good fish. It's got that bouncing motion in the rod. And it looks like it's putting up a good fight already as well, so. This one could be promising. We'll do some more, as well as live streams. I'm going to, at some point... I got a I got a good idea. Um, it's going to involve me and Dad doing a certain something. I was meant to do it this weekend, but I didn't manage to get a chance to do it. I've been I've been a little bit busy as I've got the bike back. I've been getting a little bit of exercise in. But um, yeah, I plan to do a little something. It's going to be on Fishing Planet, but I plan to make a video with Dad on Fishing Planet at some point for something. I'm not going to spoil it and say what though. That that will be coming at some point. Maybe I might try and get that done for for this weekend if I can or one day through the week so that way I can get it uploaded onto the channel. I had such a good fight that fish but then towards the end it was kind of easy and I would have never have thought that that was even close to a tro trophy, to be honest. I would have not have thought that. They had a good fight at the beginning, but then towards the end, it reeled in too easy. Sometimes those bigger fish, sometimes they do reel in that little bit easy. I think that's because they've got more weight, so they can't move as quick as the ones that weigh less. They're not as agile. <clears throat> Come on, hopefully we can get Dad to grab a unique today. That's what I want to see. I'm going to be streaming for a short minute as well, so this one's going to be quite a long one today, or at least I plan, unless something pops up, I do plan to do it for a short minute, so yeah. We've got plenty of time, we've got a good few hours to try and get one. I think what's the time? Oh, it's ten past twelve, midday. I'm gonna quickly. I think I'm gonna quickly eat something. I got a little snack because I knew that this stream was gonna go on for a short second. So I'm gonna quickly just cover the cam, or well, remove the cam just for a moment, just whilst I quickly eat something. But don't worry, we are gonna carry on fishing. I've learnt the technique to <laughs> to fish with one hand. That's what happens when you play so much. 
<clears throat> right, so I'm going to keep playing for a sec, but I'm just going to mute the mic because whilst I eat, you're probably going to hear crunching sounds of peanuts and you probably don't want to hear that but yeah we're going to carry on fishing on and then once i finished eating i'll put the mic back and i'll put the face cam back Yeah, I've finished eating my quick snack, a bit of H2O, and then 
we'll put the face cam back. It's better to do that if I eat a snack whilst whilst um, I'm going. It keeps me going. <laughs> Same as when you're fishing. When you're fishing, you've got to take those snacks. Fishing in real life, I mean, obviously. <clears throat> this could be a good fish on here as well. It did have a bit of a bounce motion at the beginning. There we go. <clears throat> He's got a fish on as well. Wonder who's going to be the first one to get the unique today. I do want it to be dad. I did last time. Are you pound? Tells me what size it is before he even picks it up. Um, I woke up really early this morning. <laughs> um, I've been awake for three, four, five. Uh, I've been awake about six and a half hours. I woke. It's like twenty past twelve my time right now it's 20 past 12 I woke up about I think it's just before 7 this morning I woke up but, uh, yeah got up quite early you're barely going to school oh school's important man gaming is always going to be there school won't always be there 155 pound wow I did expect it to be a bit more than that one <laughs> don't always get what you want so you got another fish on oh he's casting out come on where are those uniques hiding today? I think I'll get maybe one more in the net and then I'm gonna have to change the next day again. You got seven hundred and fifty pound in the net. You do fill up fast here. That's one one good thing I guess. Even if they're not unique, you're still filling up your net pretty quick. I need to get a bigger net as well on the on the mobile. And this is one and a half thousand pound this net. I think the one I'm I can't remember if it's eight eighty or if I got the one that was 1,000 something. I can't remember. But I definitely need to get the bigger net anyway. I know that much. So what I might do. I might reel this one in. Have a little mess around with the lure. Oh. Maybe I might not be able to. No, I won't be able to. I didn't bring the stronger rod, did I? I got the Rivertex rod from the mission that I did last. No, I didn't change it back to the chaser. All right, maybe not then. That's not a good idea. <laughs> a 46 pound rod set up. Catching fish at like 400 pound. It's not really going to happen. I don't know what I did there. I just cast normal. Weren't paying attention. He's got two rods going there. Mm. 
a little bit time consuming for me. I don't like to wait that long for a fish. Not when I'm seeing these rods going off and mine ain't. <laughs> all right, that's it. We're jumping to the next day. And I'm not picking all those rods up. jump to the next next night what night is that starry night I don't think we've had a starry night yet 82,000 cash that time I don't hang around too long and you guys shouldn't either if it's taken too long to catch a fish change the time or change day one or the other it shouldn't take that long Especially when you're in a hot spot as well. Then it should e it should be even quicker. Look at that. Got set up at 9. At 9 o'clock we get a hit. And that's what you like to see. That's definitely a lot quicker than what it was a minute ago. It's not showing up the fish again. I don't know why that keeps doing that. I think that could be a little bit of a bug. It's done that quite a few times now. Down on the bottom left, the chat will just disappear on its own for no reason. I thought that one was going to keep running there. That one, that one put up a really good fight. Then all of a sudden it just turned its head. Started swimming towards me instead. the headlight back on makes it a bit easier to see what we're doing so it looks all right for me but on the when I look at the stream and I ain't got the headlight on it looks so dark well it's running again Oh wow, it's got plenty of fight left in it. Getting all them small ones. Cool, wow. Uh, I really don't even, can't even guess what kind of fish in weight this is going to be well obviously i know it's going to be perch but the weight of it i couldn't even guess this one's kind of strange makes me think it's a big fish that how much it rips line out but then we don't really have a lot of bounce in motion I need to try and get a bigger null perch as well. I think I think the shark's my biggest fish at the minute. I'll have to have a look. It's been a short minute since I've looked. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't think this one's unique, but I have no idea the size of this one. Let's see. 157. I didn't think it was unique, so it's not disappointment. <laughs> but it had that bounce in motion. And then... Yeah, I don't think this is... I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this one is either. I had a stack of those tilapers separate, so I've used up those, but I've got plenty more on me, so I've got to rebate. Uh, 
So I'm using all nine knots apart from this rod. This rod I put on a ten knot just to just to see of any difference. See if we can try get that bigger fish. It's ripping line. Let's move back down here again like we normally do. Oh, almost sunk. There we go. 87 pound. Now I've got to rebate it. <coughs> There you go. I knew I had more. 350. <clears throat> so I got two rods with these small tiliper on, and then I've got the other rods. It's the good old, good old large minnow. I'm hoping I don't start hearing things banging. I hear workmen. <laughs> That'd be the worst time, wouldn't it? That's happened before, though. Oh, there you go. We got all five out. I really wish that I'd changed over. I should have brought the Nile Chaser rod with me. It is nice messing around with a spinning rod while you're waiting for one of these to go off. But I say that you don't it's not very often you get a chance to use the the spinning rod if you put out four bait rods. Bait rods go off so often. Don't really get that much of a chance to use it. But it's nice to have it when it's a little bit slow on the bait rod. It's something different. Keeps you busy. We're going to have uh, quite a few more streams coming as well this month because we got um we got a couple of pre-ordered games as well that I've showed <clears throat> we've showed a few different new games but we've got a couple of pre-ordered games so we'll be having more streams towards the end of the month that's for sure I'm going to try and do a lot more streams in December as well if I can I always I used to always stream a lot and then I went to doing a lot of videos I want to I still want to do videos but I want to I want to do more streams as well if I can so hopefully this month and next month hopefully I'll be streaming a lot more often a few times a week if I can if I can I would like to do it every day but I don't know if that's going to be quite possible but a couple of times a week at least if I can I might sell that other boat I have as well the one that's got the uh, the glass window on it the DLC one I might sell that just to get a few more bait coins and I don't use it anyway I only like to use this one because the other one's good, you can put rod stands on it, but 
well, I say you can put rod stands on it. It's got rod holders on it, should I say, which you can use more than one rod, but the panel of glass always gets in the way. Call this one I had in so close, and now it's just absolutely belted off. Every other rod's going off. <laughs> That's normally the way it goes. I'm thinking this might be a bit bigger then. I didn't think it was a very big fish, but as I got it in so close, so then it ripped out so much line. It might be a bit bigger than what I thought it was. Place your bets, how big do you think? I'm going to say 180. Well, I don't know, it looks bigger. Well, well, I went far off. 161. Yeah, every single line went. <laughs> we got to reset them. You definitely lose more fish than what you catch. But at least you catch. And just keep resetting them and then putting them back down. <clears throat> Come on, get that big fish, you can do it. You can do it. It's a shame they don't let you choose different wellies and stuff as well, isn't it? Uh, they have different vests. Different hats. But, yeah, it's a shame they don't let you choose different ones. Or, like, purchase different ones in the shop. Different colour. I'd like a bright yellow pair of wellies. <laughs> Although, when you mainly see fishermen. Or fishing wellies. They are normally dark green, aren't they? But I'd like bright yellow. Stand there with bright yellow wellies on you'd stand out a little bit. I'd like that. <clears throat> I think I might pick up the one of the other rods. That one's reeling in way too easy. I know it's going to try to take off there. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Alright. Let's see if it looks like there's a bigger fish on this one. I think it, I think it is, you know. I'm going to back away from that a little bit so it's not as loud. Well, that makes it better. They've got lines all over the place. Imagine if you was actually fishing next to someone and their lines were like that. Mm. <laughs> I've had that before in the past. It's not too bad on the game because your lines don't get crossed up and stuff. But yeah, in real life, when someone casting like that, I know what my reaction would be. 
<laughs> and funny enough, I know what my dad's reaction would be to that. Yeah, there's a bit of a pain when that happens. Especially when it all does get tangled up. Ugh. Picking that bird's nest for ages. Trying to undo it all. 88 pound. I thought it was bigger. Or well, at least it, that did seem like it had a bit more fight than the other rod I picked up anyway. I think it, it I think it did. Oh, he's still got that fish. He's still got the same fish on. He's been fighting that one for a short second. And it looks like a good size fish. bounce in motion in the line that's what we want I'm just kind of look at that way a little bit I want to see him pull it out I want to see what size it is hopefully he's got a uni there go on go on I believe in you <laughs> My line's going to look a little bit cranky for a minute. Oh, that looks like a good sized fish. That could be unique, you know. It could be. And it is. He did it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> £382 unique. I, I knew it looked big. It looked like a big fish. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that thing. It's almost as big as him. <laughs> it's almost as big as his character and he's just holding it like that casually oh well that's good I'm glad he managed to get a unique on the last live stream we did and I ended up getting a unique Nile when he didn't so I'm glad as long as one of us get a unique I don't mind whether it's me or dad either way as long as one of us get a unique then mission accomplished <laughs> at least we got one between the two of us. Oh, that was a big fish though. When he was, I saw when he started coming out of the water. I knew that. I knew that had some some serious weight. My turn now. <laughs> Hopefully, my turn. I think this one is putting up a pretty good fight, to be honest. We've got a lot of bouncing motion in the line as well. It's kind of stuck there for a minute. There you go. We got it past that bit. It's kind of just stuck at 90 foot. He's trying to sink there. Well, it don't look as big as the fish that he just pulled out, so I don't think it's the one I'm looking for. They look a bad size, though. Yeah, 255. That's still crazy, though. 36,000 XP uh, cash. <clears throat> I might as well go to the next night, to be honest. We're at 7.50. I know what will happen. I'll catch one or two small ones. And then I'll end up pulling in that big fish. And then I'll have to drop fish to keep fish. We ain't got no peak time there though. We ain't even on a peak time there yet. What are we? What are we oh, ten, quarter past ten. Eighty-seven thousand. 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to take it forward to 11. Just so that way we're at that peak time. <clears throat> Looks a little bit foggy. Has he not got another fish on? I'm sure I saw a fish out there. Oh, the rod. Okay, he's got a rod in his hand. I thought there was four rods there. <clears throat> get that line out there. Let's get some monsters. We can but hope. <clears throat> we got more notifications. Give me one sec. Well, I said give me one sec. I think it did give me literally one second. <laughs> it's good that it don't take long though. It makes it more fun. Oh, this one's eating the line. It's always kind of a little bit of a relief when that alarm stops beeping off like crazy. <laughs> oh, wow, Doug. Really good to see you, man. It's been a short minute. I've been going through a few problems, but we're getting by. We're, I'm trying anyway. <laughs> we can, but try. How's everything with you, man? Everything good? Oh, that one's ripping line like crazy again. <clears throat> you just missed it. Dad didn't long pull in a unique. It was 380 something, weren't it? 382. Not bad. He's got every rod going. You're good as well. Just hanging in there. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, I think many people are, man. Doug says hello to you, Pop. 131 pound. Not bad to start. You been playing much of Fishing Planet yourself, Doug? You been playing much at all? I've been playing quite a bit of it myself, to be honest, but probably more I've probably been playing it more on mobile than anything else trying to get those levels up on the mobile but when I stream I like to do it on the PlayStation or PC I prefer to do it like that can't quite figure it out how to do it for the mobile other than 
to kind of hold the mobile in my hand then use my face cam as the cam to record I don't know yeah I've still been playing a bit of ATS I like that and PGA 2k 23 yeah we did a review on that <clears throat> I actually quite like that me and dad as well as playing fishing me and dad did do a lot of uh, a lot of golf back in the day on the old on the old uh, what was it called Sega Mega Drive I had to think then for a second yeah I like the golf games they are pretty decent. I thought the uh, PGA 2K22 was good. But the... I don't really see a lot of difference in the 23. But... They are both still good games though. A bit of a golf game. Playing as multiplayer or... A bit of fishing. It's good fun. Oh, they got some bugs in them, uh, have they? What, ki what kind of bug, of, what kind? I didn't experience, when we did the review of it, I didn't really notice any bugs or anything. <clears throat> that was a short minute ago though, since we showed that one. So, what type of game bugs are they? Kind of tempted to grab the other rod. If this one takes too long to reel in. Oh no, okay, alright, we got it. They're all gonna stop. 108 pound. Is it gonna stop? Well, it's still going. Well, that one stopped, so that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know where all them big fish are hiding today, but they don't want to show themselves. The putter head doesn't move when the mouse is when the mouse moves. Same as when you are chipping. But I say they are working on it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't experience any game bug on that myself, to be honest. But it does happen though. It happens on every game, doesn't it? It's a, it is it is stressful though. Nothing worse than game bugs, especially when you're playing this. When you're playing Fishing Planet, that's that's when uh that's when it to me that's the worst thing. <laughs> I experience a lot of game bugs when this update come out for the conga. The amount of fish that I had on for hours and I just lost so many hours of making videos and stuff. But yet, Dad didn't experience one game bug at all. He got really lucky. I don't know how he got that lucky, but yeah, he didn't experience any. But I had fish on. I think I put a couple of videos out on it as well. I had fish on for like two, three hours, real time. Very, very frustrating. Yeah, all games have a bit of game bug in it here and there. The, the main thing is, is... The quicker they fix the game bug, the better. They also did for the uh, M Beggar as well, didn't they? The M Beggar fish you had to catch. There was a game bug for that. Amount of hours I lost on that as well. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> oh, you remember that? Yeah, I lost many hours. It's a bit frustrating when those game bugs are there because then I can't put that video out as quick as what I'd like to put it out and of course when those updates come out whether it's a mission or even if it's just yeah new lakes or whatever I like to try and put them out quick are you doing the fishing planet Christmas event this year oh wow almost forgot to hit that like button <laughs> Thank you, man. It's completely free. Everyone else can as well. 
you might. Dad don't normally do them. He don't. He, Dad don't normally do events and stuff. But this year, I convinced him. I said, "You're just going to be playing the game anyway. You're going to be on. You're going to be catching the same fish you normally catch. Do the mission. Gives you something to do." And I'm quite surprised he actually did do it. Like, not surprised because obviously I know he can catch those fish. But I mean, I'm surprised he did the actual mission because he just. Yeah, he don't normally do missions. He he might do a little bit of missions, but he's not really a massive fan on it normally. But I'm gonna convince him. I keep telling him. I keep saying to him, do the uh, <laughs> do all the Christmas event. I said to him, do it with me. So I think he might. I, it, maybe we might be able to do it together and make some videos together like that. I do like the Christmas event stuff. It keeps me busy, busy and. Gives me something to do as well. And obviously other people who play it. You, you usually don't but you never know. You like it when us two are on together. It's fun to watch. Yeah a lot of people do. We did actually do a video. I don't know if you saw it. But um, we did actually do a video of me and dad. And he was actually on the mic as well. I gave him. He come to my house. And we made a video on it. We posted it the other day. I was mentioning it at the beginning of the stream, actually, because a lot of people say they like to watch me and Dad fish together. But, um, yeah, we did a video. I think it was about a 20-odd 20 20 -odd minute video. We posted it the other day. Not many people would have got the notification for it, though, so it's not your... Yeah, you might not have actually missed it on purpose. Because, um, yeah, a lot of the time... Because I've been putting out so many videos in one day. Not everybody's getting notifications for everything that I'm putting out. Because I'm just kind of overloading it. And yeah. Because I'm putting out so many videos. Not everyone gets all the notifications. But me and dad was on mic together. I gave him my controller. And then. Uh, oh, he's moving over that way. Yeah it's easier. Easier to get it in. Yeah I gave him my controller. And we set up on my on my account. And then we just kind of had a bit of a chat about the game, really, in general. It was just waffling on both of us. <laughs> it's great fun, though. It's good that we can play together like this, but I do like it as well when sometimes if he comes to my house or I go to his house. Where he, he'll always, yeah, he'll always have his PC on. I'll always have my PC on. <laughs> and then we sit there and we just waffle on about stuff to each other. And we take it in turns. We pass the controller back and forth. And we just take it in turns. Catching, catching fish, whatever lake we're in. Yeah, that's the other thing as well. Yeah, a lot of people, not just... Yeah, obviously, I've, I've been putting out a lot of videos recently, so not everyone's going to get all the notifications for every video. But yeah, obviously, when you're subscribed to other channels as well, you get so many notifications in one day. You just It's hard to even catch up or even watch everything. Sometimes it can be difficult. I'm the same because, obviously, I get lots of comments on different videos. And then as well as lots of comments, I also get notifications of uploads from people. Yeah, it definitely is, it definitely is hard to try and keep up with all the notifications. Since I've been streaming, I don't even know. I, I couldn't tell you how many notifications I've got from just Instagram alone. That ain't including YouTube. See, I did think about it. I was thinking of uh, doing a TikTok account because then I could put more short clips there rather than just YouTube. But there's always going to be a but. It's kind of difficult for me to do that because I'm running Fishing Planet, obviously, on three different accounts on mobile, console, and PC. And then I'm using Twitter. Then I'm using Instagram. I just don't think I've got time for anything else. 
I spend I used to spend a lot of time editing now I do the edits pretty quick to be fair it's more just responding to comments how many hours I spend I can't I don't even know <clears throat> I'm not sure how many hours I've spent just messaging back to people crazy amount of time but it's good though it's nice I like it if I can help someone out make their gameplay that little bit more fun or a little bit more better well then it's worth it try and show my support to all all you great street streamers <laughs> it keeps me going it does me sometimes man there's a as well as obviously me making videos me streaming myself but I'm like that sometimes it's nice to there's certain streamers that I watch and yeah it kind of keeps me going sometimes it does help it takes your mind off stuff and gives you a chance to watch a game that you like or have a bit of a conversation or just take take time out of your own your own thoughts it's good eighty eight pound that looks a lot bigger than eighty eight pound I must say <laughs> I hope that one day they bring a kind of like a weigh-in net a weigh-in mat and stuff that'd be good oh don't say that Doug you'll make me feel guilty <laughs> What I mean by that is, uh, I don't. Uh, I want to keep doing YouTube, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Next year, things might change a little bit for me next year. Um, between January and 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 March, I, I'm still I'm still always going to do YouTube, but I just don't know if I'm going to have as much time for it as what I have right now, because my cash flow circumstances have changed a little bit so i'm thinking thinking i might get a get another job i might or well i might have to get another job so i'm thinking of maybe going into computer engineering maybe uh, building computers or repairing or some 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 kind of thing like that i'm, I'm not sure yet but i think i'm gonna have to look for another job because I can't really make ends meet at the minute, so I think I am always going to do YouTube. But as I say, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to be as constant as what I have been. I might have to kind of come back from YouTube a little bit, and you know, I got kids to pay for, so I'm going to have to look for another job. I'll still do YouTube, but just maybe not as as much, which is a little bit of a shame, but. We'll see what happens, I guess. We'll find out between January and March. <clears throat> yeah. I would rather I would rather just do YouTube and nothing else, but kids always need something. <laughs> kids always always, no matter what, kids always need something, so yeah, I think, um, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Things could change. Or something could change. You never know. I can't go into too much detail, but um, I, over the last couple of months, I ran into some big financial problems, so... That's what's making me think uh, maybe I need to get a, another job. <clears throat> but anyway, we don't need to worry about that. Good times ahead. I need to change to the next day as well after this fish. Because we got £750 in the net. I don't want to overshoot it.
Yeah, it's, it's always nice to know that, Doug. I appreciate it, man. <clears throat> That's about 80-ish. Yeah, 86. That one came in way too easy. Oh, come on. Pick the rods up. Don't be lazy, Bubbles. Keep jumping in the boat. <laughs> Pick the rod up. Reel it in. Like everybody else does. Thank you, man. I'm glad I put my phone on silent because you would have heard nothing but ding, 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 ding all the time. It did actually. <laughs> when I started up the stream, a notification went off and I thought, okay, that's the perfect time to tell me to put it on silent. Uh, 8.35 in the net. Let's jump to the next day. 88,000. We'll take that. And it's gone off on the side again, the chat. Does that happen to you? It keeps happening to me. The chat just keeps on going down there on the bottom left. So you don't see what people catch and you, you just can't type anything. There you go. Brought it back. 235 pound he had there. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. The chat keeps disappearing. Only when you stream. <laughs> yeah, normally it's alright. Maybe it is just when I stream. Because normally it doesn't... Normally it's always there. I haven't had a problem with that before. But I've noticed it. Since I've been streaming, the chat just keeps disappearing. I like the chat to stay there, so that way I can, uh, I can see. You're off. All right, man. No worries. Thanks for coming to join us for a bit, anyway. And well done. It was good that you had a unique this time. Mm, I don't think this is a very big fish. It's not, I don't know actually. The line then went really strange. Try to keep it up near the surface. Keep my finger on that strike button, it helps. Turn around. There we go. 59 pound. I, I never even knew they even went that small. Yep. That's typical. I think Dad's got a few bits and pieces to do today. So that's why he was off early. That was good though. Because in the last stream that we did, I ended up getting a unique and he didn't. And this time, he has and I ain't. <laughs> but that's good though. At least, at least he, did, at least he got one. I'm so man. But it is only English. Now you might be saying something nice, but yeah, I only understand English. So I'm sorry if you're commenting. Anything other than English, I have to remove it. Although I could copy the word and see what you say, it's just a little bit time consuming for me to do that. If I did that, whew, there'd be loads of people talking different language and I'll have to keep translating all the time. <laughs> I have tried in the past to try and learn different language struggle with English, let alone anything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not good. I'm not good at learning different language. I've tried and I've failed badly. It would be good to, to have though, but 
Unfortunately, I'm not that I'm not smart enough to do that. Oh, this one's ripping line. I was going to pick up one of the other rods. <clears throat> Let's move away a little bit so it's not as loud. Car's ripping line again. That's good. That's what we like to see. Strike timed out. Wow, this one's taken off like a rocket. It's got a bit of bouncing motion in the line. Maybe it could be a bigger fish. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, we? It's going to take me a short minute, but we will see. It's a shame it don't stay zoomed in. I'd like it to stay zoomed in whilst I keep reeling. Then that way you could see the fish jump out the water more. That'd look better, but it don't let you do that. Well, that looks like a good sized fish. I saw it a little bit. They really do try and sink there. Wait for it. There it is. Oh, uh, not bad. Well, maybe. I was expecting. I was expecting it to be bigger. <laughs> I always do. Hey Travis, it's been a while man, how's things? Good to see you man. Thanks for dropping in. Now I've got to reset this one and I've got to reset that one there as well. You've been doing great, that's good. Good to hear, man. You've been trying to catch me for a while. You have? Is there something that you needed to ask? Or you just wanted to see you just wanted to see a stream? Ah, you wanted to see me live stream. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to try and do more over the next month or, or two. Because this, this month, towards the end of the month, we got a pre-ordered a game. So, um, me and Big Man are going to be doing that. So, we're going to be doing, between November and December, There's gonna I'm going to try and stream every week. I would like to do it daily, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Yeah, I might not have that much time to do it daily, but I'm going to put in more streams between, well, from now and around December time as well. It's good to do a stream. You can chat the people more better that way. They can ask more questions and 
yeah, the communication's easier rather than always just typing to each other. Kept missing them. You're stuck on Amazon trying to grind. Oh yeah, what are you catching in there? I might be quick enough. I might be. Is it going to stop? Yeah. I could have guaranteed that was going to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's normally the way it goes. Hey, Tim, it's been a while, man. It's good to see some of these old faces coming back here. Oh, I'll say old faces, uh, names. <laughs> good to see you guys back. Arapaima. A lot of people been catching those recently. We had a few people comment um, saying they've been going up on the leaderboards on catching Arapaima. Be my turn again soon. I'll be heading back there. And at the minute, I'm uh, been playing a, quite a bit on the on the mobile, but I'm at Maron River at the minute. I'm catching catfish, but eventually I will be moving from there. Obviously catching some Arapaima, so that'd be good. What's Texas? The Texas rig, you can use it for catching Nile perch, funny enough. And you can, you can, you can put that on a... a it's always something that happens. Yeah, you can put that on a on a setup and catch Nile perch with it. Been watching while playing ATS. <laughs> That's the best way. That's what I always say. If people manage to to play their game and watch me at the same time. That's a good way to do it. I do that myself sometimes because obviously I got two monitors. One monitor I will watch. Um, someone streaming or a video or something and then on the other screen I'll be here fishing <laughs> it's doubly the way I do it as well I got a hash for spot on whaling catfish I'm sorry man I don't quite understand what you mean you got a hash four spot. I'm sorry, man. I don't know if you if I misunderstood that or I'll oh, fourth largest. Okay. For catfish, that's not bad, man. That's good. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Sometimes some people can't even get onto the leaderboard. So even if you manage to get on there at all, that's an achievement. Whether you're first. Second, third, fifth, last. It's good to yeah. It's good getting on there. Sometimes I I eat onto the leaderboards and I don't even I don't even try to catch a certain big fish. I just I just fish. That's it. I did do it recently though. Actually, trying to catch bigger fish, and that was for the tarpon in Blue Crab Island. And surprisingly, on there I, again, it didn't. I weren't even in there long, and I ended up hitting first on the leaderboard again. For the unique tarpon so that was good it's not very often I try and always catch bigger fish or it's not very often I try and get number one on the leaderboard although I probably do but I just don't bother to ever look I just yeah I'm not really competitive I like to just play the game and when it works out for me and it's good I like to just share it with other people that's it I'm not too bothered about biggest fish all the time Although some people are, I'm not. I'm not always. My dad's the same like that. As long as he's catching fish, he's having a good time. I try and convince him to try and play other games sometimes, but he's got other games on his PC. But he doesn't. He don't want to play anything other than Fishing Planet. <laughs> That's all he wants to do. 
I don't blame him though. It is a good game. So, although I think last year was it last year? No, it wasn't last year. It was probably a bit longer than that. But a couple of years ago, I was live streaming. Um, what was it? Need for Speed. My dad was kind of tempted to to get it himself, which I was quite surprised about, to be honest. I didn't think that he would. He didn't end up getting it, but he did think about it. <clears throat> I don't think he's got time to play any other game. And he puts all his time into this one. I kind of want to pick up the other rod, but I don't know. This one has given me a bit of a fight. Um, there you go. Sometimes some things are meant to be. Every, yep, yeah, now the other one's gonna go. Yeah, there we go. That's normally the way it is. Let's move away a little bit so it's not too loud. Still haven't got round to getting a new keyboard yet. I need to get another keyboard. So I've got a mute button on there so I can hit that mute button. It's good so you can hear it for when you're waiting for the rod to go off, but when you've got to fish on and those other rods go off. It's good to hit that mute button. My dad's got a keyboard like that. It's a bit of an old keyboard, but it's good that you can mute the sound. The one I've got, don't do that. This one keeps coming in, but then it keeps running off. Maybe I might have done the right thing just to stick with this rod, maybe. Let's see, now it's coming towards me. <clears throat> so normally I do go in random rooms, but I had to come into a friends only this time because dad was coming and the room that we got into was full so I went into her friends only that's why we're not seeing anyone else around cool it's good to see that line bounce like that and that gives me an indication that the fish is a bit bigger now the other rod's going again. <laughs> this fish is like a jet. It literally just wants to take off. I'm getting it a bit closer. Now I can hear the other rod going off with the other bow on there, making a different sound. Cool, that don't look like a bad size. There you go. Let's run backwards. 247. Couldn't show it that long because we might or might not be able to get that fish <laughs> yeah I could have guaranteed that was gonna happen could have guaranteed it so we're, we're gonna set back out again I'm probably only gonna catch one more then I jump to the next day again because we're at 7.15 in the net I think the main thing when you come to this place you just definitely need to stock up on bait before you come here that's the main thing that's why I got some different bait rather than just large minnows I thought I put on some of those tilapa 600 large minnows seems like a lot but you do rinse through them pretty fast in this place 
best part is buying them and it takes ages but because I use the controller I just keep spamming the A button like crazy and then that way I manage to get them a lot faster <sighs> clicking it with the mouse Oof, a little bit time consuming that all right give me one sec guys I need to quickly just grab some more water so I'm just gonna put you on this screen for a second and we got a fish on of course and I'll <laughs> let me pick that up I'll pick that rod up and I'll leave it I'll leave the controller there if it stays on then we'll show it when we when I come back give me one sec let me quickly grab a bit of H2O Uh, I'm back. <coughs> Trust that to happen whilst I'm uh, getting a drink. I kept my finger on the real button. I come back in and look at the screen. And look what I pick up. Oh, camera lens is off. Is that on now? There you go, yeah. There you go. Well... <sighs> you didn't see me reel it in but you see it's there there you go so I got a unique today and now dad did and again that, did that come up on the bottom okay it is I thought the chat was gone again trust that to happen it had to happen when I changed the screen didn't it I should have just left this I don't know why I didn't leave the screen on I could have just left the screen on and kept my finger on real that way and then people will see the rod reeling in and no one on the face cam. It'll look strange. <laughs> that filled my net up though. We're at a thousand now. A thousand pound in the net. So after this one, I definitely will jump next day. I'm going to get some good cash for this day though. Because we had a unique in, in this day. That was on a moon and star as well. Not very often I have uniques on the moon and starry night. 
Right, let's walk down here. It'll make it easier. There we go. That is definitely the most I'm willing to risk to put in the net. We almost rank up as well. Not that I'm really bothered about rank. I think I ranked up last time we played. Yeah, I did. Right, let's see how much we earned from that one day. Retweets keep going out on Twitter for some reason. Shut that app off. 139,000 cash. That's pretty good for one day. <clears throat> All right, let's grab a few fish then, and then we should rank up a little bit more bait coin. I definitely won't say no to that. Doing that Halloween event was good, but phew, it cost a lot. Although you end up getting the rod and reel free at the end. I don't know if it's... Somebody said... <laughs> they left a comment. They said, are you sure this rod and reel was free? You have to keep paying to get into lakes and using bait coins. So then I thought about it a bit more and I thought, hmm, it did cost me a short little bit as well. I got 1,141 bait coins. Yeah, I think I had, I think it's like about 1,700 I had, something like that. So I did rinse through the bait coins. I definitely took a short short amount out of it. But I don't mind. It was good. It was something different. I'm pretty sure the Christmas Christmas one's gonna be like that as well. Where it's gonna cost me a few bait coins, but it's worth it. I'm right on cue. It didn't take long again. Good when you see it jump out of the water. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I definitely knew that was going to happen. I'm going to stick with this rod though because it's got that bouncing motion. That's what I always look for. When it's got that motion where the rod bounces like that, kind of nods. That normally tells me that it's a good sized fish. Ripping out line, I know that much. Oh yeah, that's definitely got a good bounce in motion. I reel it in and it'd be fifty pound. <laughs> no, there's no way. That's definitely a good fish. Oh, it keeps turning its head the opposite way. I know what's going to happen in a minute. It's going to swim towards me and then the line's going to go with slack. That's normally what happens. Every rod's going off. <clears throat> I'm surprised the fish has gone over this side for a change. Normally it always goes over to the left. If that ain't a unique fish, I'd, I will be quite shocked if I'm honest. The 
bouncing motion of the rod plus the line. I will be really shocked if that's not unique. Putting up a good fight, I give it that. Still over 200 foot out there. There you go, it's coming over to the left. That's normally what it does. All the lines have gone everywhere, which is nice. That's how it normally is. <laughs> it's ripping line again. Jeez. How's it going, Dot? It's good to see you, man. Oh, yeah. You're on your lunch break now, aren't you? There you go, it's swimming towards me. I knew it would at some point. So this is on the 9 op, But we've got Tilliper on here, so... Rather than the large minnow. Just a quick pop in before I head back into work. That's all good, man. Is it still is it still a bit cold out there? I see the sun's come out a bit, but this morning it was really cold. Is it still cold now? Oh, did you end up going into Aldi? Did you end up grabbing that on or did you end up going to Asda? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, James, the, if this ain't unique, I'd be very surprised. I'm pretty sure this one is. I'm pretty sure. If it's not, it's got to be a fraction away from it. But I'd be surprised if it weren't. No, it definitely is unique. I'm calling it. It definitely is. You're in shorts, you crazy man. I think it's a bit chilly just me sitting here like this. I've, I've got a top on and tracksuit bottoms on. And I, I, I think it's a bit chilly just like this. But then I'm sitting still. You're moving around so you're keeping yourself warm. This is definitely unique. 100%. There's no way it isn't. If it ain't, then I don't know this game as much as I thought. I played it six and a half years. It definitely is. It's unique. I'm calling it. 110% I'm calling that. If it ain't, I'll take my hat off and eat it. Well, that's good because I didn't want to eat my hat. <laughs> there you go. That's a bit better. Or at least bigger than the last unique that we had anyway. Can't even see my character. You went into LD, there's a big queue. So did you end up managing to get it then, Dots, or not? £379. Look at the cash. 62,000 cash, 38,000 XP. And we even ranked up, ladies and gentlemen. Not that rank's that important, but still. There you go, a bit more cash. And of course, always those delicious bait coins that we love to see the most. I love watching your videos. You are my go-to. <laughs> That's really good to hear, James. Thanks for the support for watching, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you did get it? All right, cool. Nice one. Good stuff. Yeah, you can kind of always tell when, when there's a unique on there. The rod, as I say, it kind of has like a... It bounces like that. And then your line kind of... I don't know, I, yeah, you can just tell, especially when you play as many hours as I play anyway, <laughs> when you play it for a crazy amount of hours, you kind of, you kind of know when you got a good fish on there or not, you can definitely tell. Oh, there you go, Dad's still lurking around watching, well that's good, we both had one today, Dad, I think the first one I had was, 
can't even remember how much it was now. 280, 290? 296, the first one. And then that one there, 3, 379, that's a bit better. I knew it was kind of around the 300 mark was the the mark for unique. I just weren't sure exactly how much. I've got to reset that rod there on the end as well. Must remember to change over my spinning rod as well. I've definitely got to do that. Well, as we've had a couple of uniques with the tiloper, it's kind of making me think to put more of that bait on rather than rather than the large minnow. I think I might change one other rod over. Mm, has that one got it on? Okay, that one has. So I will change that one over to the other bait. So we're using more of the other bait. <clears throat> Fish on. Oh, you picked up some chicken in there as well. And then sausage. But was you cooking that tonight, was you? Oh, no, you said you had uh, pasta, didn't you, for tonight? Uh, for the Arapaima, normally I put on a 6-up barbless. always use the barbless because obviously it gives more XP. Um, large minnow, 6-up. And if you are able to buy premium, I definitely recommend it. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet to say that. It's just my personal opinion. The fastest way to get cash and XP is definitely barbless hook and premium no matter what fish you're catching, that is <clears throat> losing my voice. <clears throat> That's definitely the best, fastest way. Get that six up barbless on there. And even if you only buy one day premium, if you're going to stay in for the whole day, buy at least one day premium. You'll be surprised. Uh, you could, yeah, you get crazy cash and XP insanely fast. Get your pasta tonight. Pasta. I'm not sure what I'm going to have tonight, to be honest. I don't. I have no idea yet. Not a clue. Kept that one above the surface. It reeled in easier. 85 pound. That's going to stop, isn't it? That's is definitely going to stop. Yep. But <laughs> well, that's alright. we got another one. <clears throat> on the large minnow. Cool, wow. This rod's at 68%. The reel's at 85 I'm going to have to wait for a short minute. I'm going to have to keep using that rod to get that reel down to 70. I like to do that rather than take it off. It's quicker. Get everything always down below 70%. And then you can kind of repair it all at the same time. That's running. I've got to put out a um, YouTube short video today as well. That's going to be on Fishing Planet as well. So I'm going to have to do that soon, I think. It's coming up to 2 o'clock my time. <clears throat> yeah, the... Uh the Acu minnow and large minnow is fine. Ten knots probably the ten yeah the hash ten is probably a bit too 
bit too big, man. Although it will work, it's not an optimal size hook. I always try, like whenever I go into a new lake for the first time, no matter what lake it is, I'll always put on a six ot first. Always. If you put on a six first, it, it's always classed as the optimal size. Like kind of every fish likes that size hook. So yeah, put on a six instead. It might work out a bit better for you, man. You're off to work, back to work. All right, Dots, thanks for dropping by, man. Have a good one. I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, even, even when we fish in here for Nile perch, some of them obviously go up to 400 pound plus. And even Dad sometimes, he still puts on six ots in here catching 400 odd pound fish. The six is always the best way. Always the optimal size hook. Like the barbless hooks to buy those, you got to buy those with bait coins, but they're definitely worth it because it gives you that more XP. See, I've got on premium and obviously the barbless hook, and for a 168 pound fish, 10,000 XP. Nearly twenty thousand cash. That's that's pretty good to be honest. As I said, not that I'm really after XP. It's just always, always that cash that I need because I keep making so many different videos. And then obviously, when new lakes drop, I have to buy all the new equipment and all different things. I've got twenty six twenty six million cash, which is a lot. And some people say you don't need any more cash. That ain't never going to run out. Oh, it definitely could. <laughs> it definitely could. I remember before, um, before I did all the Halloween stuff, I had 26 million. And then I went down to, I think I went down to nearly 20 mil. So I spent quite a lot on that Halloween event. And that's because I kept com coming in and out of lakes all the time yeah that gets expensive and then buying a license as well so you got your number one unique but the bite rate was slow I appreciate the info I only use barbless it helps it does also use mono leaders as well Use the mono leaders for the Arapaima. When you're using titanium leaders, the bite rate is slower. Either mono or, or fluorocarbon, either, either one of those. Most of the time I just stick on monos when I'm catching Arapaima, if I'm honest. I, don't, I think the fluorocarbon leaders, even though that's less chance the fish will see it, it's probably the only leader that I don't really use on the, on the whole game. To be honest, I use mono leaders and titanium leaders, that's it. I don't really bother with the flora. But yeah, make sure if you with the titanium leaders, you still will catch them, but again the bite rate will be slower. It'll take longer to catch. Stick on mono leaders, six art hook, large minnows, the arc you minnow as well. I don't think this one's a very big fish, if I'm honest. Oh, Dad's come back online. Maybe he's coming back. That's running off. I know that's not a big fish, definitely not. Well, bigger than what I thought it was. I was expecting around 80 ish pound again. 125. We'll take that. 
I'm only going to get one more fish for this day because we got 759 pound in the net. I don't want to don't want to stretch it. I should actually quickly check the net as well. Oh, that's all all right. Oh, there you go. We got dad coming back. I think him seeing us catch those couple of unique, I think it's made him made him want to catch a few more today. <laughs> there you go, he's back. He's back, he's ready. He's gonna get some uniques. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well I was I was gonna probably end the stream, but as dad's come back I'm gonna keep it going. I was only gonna end because I wanted to eat something, so I've got a sandwich. In my fridge. I think I'm just going to grab that. And then we'll carry on streaming. We might as well. I need to change one of those baits over as well. wanted to put more of that tilapia on if I can. Oh, you was having a bit of a quick tidy up, was you? I'm going to check that rod. Mm. Yeah, this one's got a bit more... A bit more bounce in action. This is the rod that we're going to stick with. So, if I... Okay, no, maybe not. Gonna have to move it over. Alright, give me a sec. I got an idea. I got an idea. So I'm gonna quickly uh, just take off the face cam just for a minute. And then I'm gonna click over on my mouse. And I'll let my mouse do the work. And I'm just gonna leave it like that for a second whilst I quickly grab something to eat. I will put the face cam back on, don't worry. Give me a sec. I'm just going to leave the face cam off quick just whilst I eat. It's not really something that you guys really want to watch. It's not that, not that entertaining, believe me. Looks like a big fish. That might be a unique again, maybe.
I'm pretty sure that's going to be unique. Let's see. Oh, no. Not quite. This is definitely, I'm going to have to jump to the next day after. We got nearly a thousand pound in the net again. That's so quick. At the minute, I'm fishing Congo River, but I fish every place. Not bad. 143,000 cash. Now that's what I like to see. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Getting close to 27. This is a hot spot for Nile perch. There's lots of different spots. For all different fish but we're fishing down here we're standing off the rocks casting over there which is probably about 150 ish foot out there I guess off the spot And look around so you can see. That didn't take long. Got set up at nine, nine oh three fish on. Um, for the Nile perch I do, yeah. Now you can get them in the daytime, but in the daytime it's, mm, you get a lot of catfish. Whereas if nighttime it's just perch, so. Yeah, you can get them as unique in the daytime, but. At night time, you avoid the catfish. change that bait quick on that rod there you go if 
put some more of that small tilapia on so that way I don't use as much large minnows and that also pulled us in a good size unique as well so if I even get a chance to put rods out Do I stick with this one or do I pick up the other one? Ah, pick up the other one. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't really say there's a bigger fish on this one. Oh, that's nice, it stopped. Oh no, it's gone again. I'm on fire. <laughs> That's normally the way it is. If you find the right hot spot, <clears throat> find the right hot spot and find the uh, right hook and bait, you can always be fast. finished eating <clears throat> a tuna sandwich and that went down pretty good to be fair I was definitely feeling that <clears throat> Can't even put the rods out fast enough. I literally can't put them out fast enough. Oh, there you go. This this could be unique. Oh, I think this could be unique. I see the way the line is. If it ain't unique, it's gonna be a good fish. It's gonna be trophy at least. 
It's got that. It's got that motion in the line. And that's it. Swim towards me. And then it's going to rip out a ton of line. <coughs> don't look like a big fish. I don't know. I'm not sure now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say at least trophy. I'm guessing. I'm calling it. If it ain't unique, it's going to be trophy. Oh, I don't know. It does look like it could be unique. That does look like a big fish. I'm going to get it to about 20 foot, then it's going to... Oh my gosh, that is a big fish. Then it's going to run off like mad. It did reel in way too easy for it to be a big fish, though. I don't know. Sometimes when they're that big, as I said, they don't... Because they get so much weight, they don't fight as much as the smaller ones. I don't know, it's making me run halfway down the bank, though. That's got to be unique, it's got to be. Oh, wow, not quite. I said at least trophy, though. I was calling it to be a trophy. 259. Not bad. <clears throat> now we might actually get a chance to put these rods out now. My phone is still pinging like crazy with notifications. Bring that one in after I cast this one out. Gets the stand of water longer. I'm going to make sure that that chat stays there so that way we can see what dad's catching as well. Let's see what he pulls in. Oh wow, that looks like he's got a good fish on. I only saw the fish's head, but it looked like it had a big head. Mm, I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to pick up another rod. Let's see if we've got more fight on another rod. I definitely don't seem like on that one. No, okay. Let's have a look at this one. They're all reeling in pretty easy. What's going on? <laughs> oh, this, that one's swimming towards me, that's why. Looks like he's got a good sized fish on there. 50 pound, nice. I knew that one was a small one, it reeled in way too easy. I'm just watching him at the minute. 
That definitely looks like a good size. I've got to guess. Let's guess. Mm, two, 200... Two seventy, I'm gonna say he's got. I'm guessing two hundred and seventy. Could be wrong. We'll see. I know this one ain't very big. Gotta swap it out. When I said that, then another rod goes off. <laughs> I'm sticking with this one now. I'm sticking with this one. Did he lose it? Oh no, he did get it in. Oh, I was a bit off. 159 pound. It looked a lot bigger than that. swimming towards me how's it going FP Maxi good to see you man <clears throat> oh the rods are going crazy Well, that one's timed out, that one out, so we just got to wait for that one. Yeah, fishing for a bit of Nile perch, yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of sticking there at 100 foot at the minute. There you go, we've got it moving a little bit. Trying to see what fish he brings in at the same time. There we go. 137. This rod was driving me a little bit cranky there. <laughs> That's why whew, sometimes to mute it would be so much better. Looks like it's gonna rain. 115 pound. Oh, we'll get one more. I don't wanna do much more than that because the net's at 820 pound already. We'll have to jump day again. get these rods out and then I'll reset the other ones be able to get the other one in within that time and <laughs> just do for a fact that weren't going to happen well this rod's got a bit of bounce I 
Oh, this could be a good fish, this one. Oh, this could be a good fish. Yeah, it's got bounce and it's running like mad. How's it going, Geordie? Did you get many wins, did you, over the weekend? Oh yeah, this one could be a unique as possible. It's got the bending motion in the rod, the wavy line, huge runs. <clears throat> oh, you did? Nice. Did you play solo or did you run it with gas? Dots was saying actually, um, I said to him, I was like, is what he should do is download it. And then on the weekends, me, you, Gas, and Dots can play it all together. Because Dots can do cross-platform cross on that, can't he, so. Dots will be able to join us. I said to him to download it, so I think he is going to... I don't know if he's already done it, but he did say he was going to. Oh my jeez, 200 and 300 foot, that pulled me out. I had a fish take me out to 300 foot for a while. This this is looking promising. Are you online tonight, Geordie? Oh, you did play with gas yesterday. Nice. Yeah, I would have come on, man, but I was out trying to get that cash grind going, weren't I? Oh, this is definitely a big unique. This is like a proper big unique. This is 400 plus. That's what I'm guessing. I'm calling it's 400 plus, definitely. I ain't had a fish take me out 300 foot in a short minute. <laughs> yeah, not going to be on? Alright, no worries, man. I'll probably catch you on the weekend or something if I'm about. Oh, it's trying to take, take line again. I need to turn its head so it starts swimming towards me. Get some of that line back. I don't care about those other rods at this point. <laughs> I know there's a big fish on this one. Cool, that wouldn't be bad, would it? Three uniques in the same stream. That's not bad. Although if I was fishing somewhere else or fishing for tiger fish I'd probably have a lot more than that but I'm not complaining I've had a couple of uniques dad's had some so in my eyes that's a successful stream that showing you some of those big monsters I've got it back a little bit I think it's trying to run there I oh, know we're getting it some more. No, it's turned its head. It's trying to run again. It's coming my way slowly. Let's walk down this way a little bit because it's going to end up coming this way. There we go, 100 foot. It's getting there.
I, d I don't know how much, but I'm definitely guessing. I'm guessing 400. I'm get. I'm de yeah, I say 400. Four hundred plus, maybe. Oh, not quite. Uh, that weren't a bad guess, though. I said four hundred. Three ninety-seven. And that is definitely enough in my net for that day. One thousand two hundred and eighteen. Cool. I don't know how I'm doing it today, but we're getting a, quite a few unique, so it's not bad. I think that small tiller pub bait is working that little bit better. I don't know. Let me, oh, okay, hold on. I was in such a rush, I just want to check something. Was that on the small tilipa that I caught that on? Oh no, that was on the large minnow that time. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. I would have liked it to be that little bit more, just because I'm greedy. <laughs> But a unique is still a unique. It all counts. I didn't fancy reeling in all of those rods, so jumping on the boat is always the best way. Someone's become a member. And I have no idea who that was. Let me check that. I like to play all different places, whether it's Congo or or anywhere. We we fish here because me and Dad like it. We catch some big fish. Why not? Stack up that cash a bit more. You have more luck with the small tilapia as well. It's just expensive. Yeah, I always I don't really look at the price of baits to be honest I just if that, that, if that bait's good I just buy a ton of it <laughs> I have no idea how much is it in the shop here I know it costs more that way but let's have a look yeah the large minnow costs quite a bit more large minnows normally 950 for five of them 3420 I don't know how much it is normally I'd guess Probably about 2,900 maybe. How long's the leader? I can, I'll show you my rod setups. Oh, wrong button. The leader, well, I'll show you the leader, then I'll show you the rod setup. So the leader that I use is an, I think it's eight, oh, wrong one. There you go. I think it's 86 pound. Uh, let's, there you go. That's the one I use. Zero uh, point zero two nine, eighty six pound. That's the leader that I use. I normally use the mono leaders because they just work. If it works, go with it. Uh, you can from, throw from a boat, yeah, but with a boat, I can only carry, hold the one rod. And if I'm going to, I don't really often use a boat when I'm live streaming because it takes longer to catch fish. And I like to catch fish constant as quick as I can. So that way if people come into the stream and they've never seen this game before, they can see what this game, how good this game is. Nobody likes to stand there for a long time waiting for a fish people are just coming to stream and leave so by me bait fishing um, it's more constant other than that boat fishing is good fun though especially if you're in a kayak if you're in a kayak and then yeah it's even more fun pulls you all over the place flips you upside down a few times and stuff it's nice alright let's check that out 
So real fish become a member. I don't know why that never popped up. It's come up saying new member, but it didn't come up on the screen for I don't know what reason. But thanks for becoming a member, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Weeping Willow is absolutely a... Yeah, de that's definitely up there in my top best free lakes for sure. Weeping Willow. The carp there, you catch them insanely fast. But you don't just catch them fast. You can get a lot of uniques in one day, like a ridiculous amount. So, yeah, I really like that place, Weeping Willow. In real life, Dad is a proper carp fisherman. I'm more of a saltwater fisherman in real life. Although I don't mind any type of fishing, to be honest. But, yeah, I, pre I do prefer this sea fishing. But in real life, Dad... Dad used to do a lot of sea fishing, but then he ended up preferring carp fishing. He absolutely loves it. You play on PS4, do you? Yeah, I play on PS4, PS5, and play on mobile and on PC on Steam. I'm a little bit addicted. I think that kind of says it all when I'm playing on all different platforms. <laughs> and carp top three. Nice man, well done. What carp do you like catching best? Personally myself, I like the ghost carp in there. The either the ghost or the or the grass. Either one. Because they both put up really good fights. I quite like using the carp rods as well, to be honest. Alright, we definitely, definitely got a change day because I pulled that in and went to change the next day and I didn't. I was in such a rush to put the rod out that we would have ended up overfilling our net. But 1,300, oh that looks like a good sized fish there. Oh, we might have a good fish on. Let's see how much cash we get for that one day. That's going to be some serious, actually, we just wait. We might as well wait two minutes. Then I can jump to the 11. I want to see him bring this fish in. Now it looks like he's got a good fish. Actually, it doesn't cost any bait coins. Let's just quickly do it. Wow, 169,000 cash. That's what I'm talking about. We jump to 11. Put a couple of rods out and then we can see see what fish he's got on there. And probably in his way a little bit to be honest. Cool, wow. Do you have any carp ninety five pound plus? What on the game? Not in the game, I don't think, no. Real life, yeah, the, 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 obviously, yeah, in real life you can, but not on the game. On the, on, in Weeping Willow, I think the biggest I've ever had was, I don't even know. I have no idea. Um, let's have a look. Fish. Um, location. Weeping Willow. Um, I did that wrong. I can do it this way. This is the quicker way to do it, I guess. Catfish. Catfish. Uh, carp. Colossus. That's the biggest carp that I've had. But I think that, that one was part of the uh, mission, though. So they are bigger than ninety-five pound, yeah, but that what that's one hundred and twenty-nine pound. But that was part of a mission, part of yeah. If it not if it's not part of the mission, then obviously it's not going to be nowhere near as much as one hundred and twenty-nine. 
Big head carp, but that weren't weeping willow. That's 65 pound. Yeah, so you can get bigger than 95 pound as long as it's as long as it's part of that mission. What science fish was that? Oh, 279. That was close. 279 pound. I bet he weren't. <laughs> I bet he weren't happy about that. Only needed a little bit more in there. I could have had another unique. I'm putting this rod out. Cool, we had a bit of bounce there in the line. I don't know whether I'll stay with that one. It's reeling in quite easy. Uh, you can for screenshots. You can always send that stuff on Twitter or on uh, Instagram, man. Either one. I'm putting that rod out before I pick that one up as well. The other rod's about to go. That's a very big fish. Let me pick up this rod. Let's check this one. Well, it's fighting more than the other one, so I'm going to hold on to this rod. Oh, wow, that's proper running. Move away from those alarms a little bit. <clears throat> I wouldn't say this fish is a monster, but it's definitely... <clears throat> Definitely putting up a good fight. Can't stop it running at the minute. Well, there you go. Uh, for Twitter, the link is in the description below. For Instagram, it's YT Bubbles Way. No capitals, no spaces. Yeah, I don't really have the bounce in motion, but it's really trying to run well. Every time I get it close, it keeps on wanting to run. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a trophy. I reckon. I don't think it's. I don't think it's unique. <clears throat> I'll say that, and it'd probably be the biggest unique I've ever had. <laughs> no, it's not. 
Oh, I kept its head up on the surface there for a minute. But then it went down. Oh, it doesn't look like a bad sized fish. All the other rods are going absolutely crazy. I can't get it to turn its head. Turn. <laughs> Here's a prop I got to fight. I, I don't. I'm pretty sure it's not unique. The 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 rod would have been bouncing a lot more, and the line would have been a lot more. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Give me one second. Saw the leader come out there. There you go. Hundred and sixty-five pound. That gave me an absolutely insane fight. That fish. Can I get that? Let's see. All tons of slack. It's still there though. Now it's running. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a very big fish either. Poland, we don't have original controllers for PS4. You don't? Why is that? Can you not order them online and stuff, or instead? Eighty-six pound. Oh, they don't do them in shops. Well, I never knew that. Yeah, we don't. We're here in the UK, we do. We get them everywhere. That that literally, there's loads of shops that sell them. PS4, PS5, right up to even the first PlayStation. Almost. There it is. 88 pound. I think is what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to call it. There will be a short clip video today, 30 to 60-ish seconds um, on Fish and Planet, so keep an eye out for that later. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And of course, smack that like button as well if you're still enjoying Fish and Planet. As always, it was good fun to fish with Dad.
because uh, you guys like it, I like it, and he likes it as well. So I guess it's a win-win all the way around. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on doing a bit of fishing. And uh, that's going to be it. we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.